Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I received this mould in the post and I was pretty keen to have a go at it. It's pretty excited, it's quite realistic. I've watched a few videos on YouTube, um, different techniques people are using, but I'm just going to be doing something plain today. So if you're new to resin and you want to do something a bit different, but something that's easy for you, um, I suggest maybe the snake. It's, it's really cool. Um, all I'm going to be using is two different chameleon powders, so those two colours there. So this is going to be going on the snake's back and around the corners and on the sides of his belly is going to be this colour here. So let's start, so that one was number nine. So all we're going to do is brush on these chameleon powders. Now number nine says golden blue green is the colour these are available from Timu I will put the link in the description for you if you're thinking about getting some of these chameleon powders so it's going to start anywhere and go straight down the middle Now I'm going to be filling this with um, black resin to make these chameleon powders um, pop at their best. Black is always the go-to colour if you want uh, your chameleon powders to really stand out. There is a video I watched, um, the channel is called Pouring Your Heart Out, she did chameleon powders as well and she did a purple hue and a blue and that looked quite effective too. So I thought I might try to do something with these colours that make it look a little bit more what you would find in nature, you probably could find blue and purple snakes in nature but just wanted to um, try this colour. Don't know what I'm going to do with it when I'm finished. You can't put it out in your garden in direct sunlight because of the heat. But you could put it at your front door, scare your visitors. Well, that's a bit mean. Depends on the visitors, I suppose. might take this um, to the market, I've got a market coming up in August so I'll take it and see if I get any interest from people Don't worry if you get a little bit up the side, I mean, a little bit's not going to hurt. You can wipe it off if you want with um, a um, bit of alcohol on a swab or something. But I'm not too concerned. This mould always, um, sorry, this mould also, not always, also has these um, little snakes here that you could um, possibly turn into earrings.
and I'll do the head completely with this dark green. Okay, I think that's enough for the dark green. And now we'll go and put the next colour in. Just a little bit in this corner here, I think. Okay, is that enough? I think so. Now just brush your um, brush onto a dry, oops, I just dropped it, came back, onto a dry paper towel or your jeans like I do. I know, shocking, my jeans are pretty sparkly with all the mica powders on them. Okay, number nine. <gasps> no, just did number nine, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> Goodness gracious, wake up. This one here next. So it's going around the belly. Eight. And then that is champagne gold green. Just zoom in a bit. These come with a little... Um, lid that you can just pop your brush in but you end up wrecking your brushes doing that so I just take them off okay let's go with the other colour And it doesn't matter if your second chameleon powder goes over your first because it's whatever hits the mould first is the colour that's going to show up. Make sure you go right to the edge, otherwise if you miss a bit, it's going to come out black, where you've missed. I'm just going to do where I can see from where I'm sitting and then I'll turn it around and do the pieces that I've missed. If you can get yourself a nice nice soft brush, goes on a lot easier.
just making sure I'm getting it right to the edge. Okay, now I'm going to turn them around and see where the bits I've missed. It's already looking good with just this powder on it without the black in. But of course they won't come out this colour, they're going to come out a bit darker than this. Yeah, so um, I think it's Julie or Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out, the YouTube channel. Like I said, she did um, lovely um, blue bluish purple um, snake take a look at um, her channel if you get time or if you have you may have already come across her she's um, she's put out a lot of videos um, she does really good um, blooms flower type things um, I've yet to give that a go but I will do it some stage She does fantastic um, coasters, all sorts of stuff. So check her out. Alright, we have I missed oh quite a bit down here. So after you've put your chameleon powder on, just tip it upside down and give it a bang over a piece of paper or take it outside and just blow on it, get rid of any excess. Um, it doesn't matter if there is excess in there, but um, you want to get most of it out. It will rise. When you put your resin, it will come through and rise on top of sit on top of the resin. But the stuff that you've put on the silicon mould will stay there. So it's just the excess that comes away. But um Try not to breathe it in. It's not good to breathe in any small particles like this. Okay, that is done. And I can see on the head, there's a little bit there that needs to be done. Just gonna wipe away my brush, and I've still got a bit of green. Well, it might not be green sitting in his head. I'll just grab a little bit and touch up his nose. Oh, sorry, moving the mat. Okay, so I'll just get rid of the excess and I will mix up some resin, put my gloves on, mix up some resin. 
It only takes 150 mils of snake, which is great. It's not too much. And I'll be back. Okay, that's been sitting for about 10 minutes. So it's got less bubbles. It's still got quite a few in there. But that's okay. I'll just leave that to the side. I've just put a tiny little bit in this cup here. Because I like to mix my colouring, my paste. This is just black um, pigment paste. It's quite thick. So I like to pre-mix it in a bit of resin just to avoid getting lumps. So 150 mils is not going to need that much. So just wipe off quite a bit off your stick. And maybe just have about that much there. In there, so you want it opaque, black, you don't want it transparent, and just pre mix that into this little bit of resin and make sure that the little lumps are gone. I just squish them up on the side of the cup. Then we can add that to a resin. Of course it does mean cleaning another cup, so you could do it in a paper cup if you want not to be worried about having to clean things. I just wipe it out with a um, baby wipe. It gets most of it out and sometimes I just spray a little alcohol in there to finish it off with another baby wipe. It's got most of it out. You can see there's a bit stuck on the meterings there. Give it a spray. Give another wipe. Dunk that in. That gets rid of the rest. It's clean for next time. Okay, let's stir this up. Let's go slow because you don't want to be introducing more bubbles, which you probably will. So you can let this sit for another five minutes if you like after you finish stirring. Just check on your bottle of resin what the work time is, otherwise, it will start to thicken up, heat up. And you want to make sure this is completely mixed too. You don't want streaks of clear through it when you're pouring it. Some people have pressure pot type things or degassing chambers that they can put their resin in and it puts it under pressure and all the bubbles come to the surface and pop. Um, that's one way of getting your resin really clear of no bubbles. But as a beginner, if you're a beginner, um, you may not have that. It's um, more money to um, 
fork out. If you continue with your resin and you do quite a bit and you think you're gonna you think you're gonna do quite a bit, that may be something you might want to invest in. I don't know how much they are. I can't imagine they would be cheap. But that's something you could look into if you were thinking about that. Okay, let's check that that's opaque. It's probably just probably needs a little bit more actually that's not quite opaque. I'm just going to pop in a little bit more, stir that and then I'll come back to you. Okay, that's a lot better. It's a lot darker. You can go ahead and pour this now. Just wipe, just wipe as you go. Try and keep your area tidy. I'm one of the worst for making a mess. Okay. So, you're pouring, just pour slowly this is quite a big cup i'm just going to squeeze the end don't pour from a height because you're going to introduce bubbles and don't pour too fast because you'll introduce bubbles so i'm just going to start here and i'm just going to pour slowly and let it find its own way along the snake and just follow it a little bit Try not to overflow it. Let's stop for a while and let it settle. And if you go down low and look from the side, you can see the lip. So it can take a little bit more. Of course you need your table level as well. And I can see the balls coming up. I'll just put you up closer. Oh, sorry. It's worse. Okay, that's as close as we're going to get. Um, I can see little bubbles coming up on the surface there. Um, when it's when I've filled it completely, I will just go over it with a, either with a flame or I'll spray it with alcohol. But don't spray it with alcohol and then use the flame because it will catch on fire. I've done that before without thinking of it. I had flames coming up. It was shocking. I managed to blow it out, but it was pretty scary. I wrecked my mould. Right, is it full? does look full. I don't think my table is very level because it's doming here and not there and not here. So if my table isn't quite level I might just pop in a little piece of paper or a piece of cardboard or something. Maybe this. Slide it under here. See if that makes a difference. And it has. Right, so I'll do the flame. The alcohol that I put in the resin before, it should have evaporated by now. Um, if you are concerned, don't just don't use the flame, just use the alcohol. So that's what I'll do. Because you never know, might still be, have, be releasing off some so you'll sort of you could see those popping and I'll come back and do that again in probably 10 minutes so of course I've got a little bit left over because I mixed um, 
10 mils more up. So I decided I'd do these little snakes here and probably make some um, earrings or something out of them. Okay, <laughs> I'm a bit excited about this one. Okay, should we do the little ones first? Yeah, save the big one till last. Cute, very thin, make good earrings though. Let's do one of each, I think, for now. This one is actually does have texture on it. You can see the scales. Is it focusing? They're cute. They're going to make really good little earrings. Okay, let's do the big guy. Start at the head, probably. It's going to loosen all the way around. Okay. Let's turn them over, it might be easier. Hey, <coughs> croaky this morning. There we go. <laughs> Cute. Oh, that's that's really cool with the two different colours. Oh yeah. Oh, I love them. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, what do you guys think? Do you like the colours? I love how around the, the underside his belly is, is a lot lighter. It's got that different tone. Keen to do another one now. Try some different colours. Feels great with the scales. Got a bit of trimming to do around the edges, but that's okay, that won't take long. Beautiful. I think I'll um I think I'll take him outside. Put him in the garden or put him not in the garden, sorry, don't 
can't really have it in direct um, sunlight. I might put them by the front door in my pot plant. Just sitting there on the bark. I have a big uh, plant outside my front door. And um, he'd look good around the base of that, I think. Be interesting to see if um, people actually see him. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'll do some photos and I will put those in the end. Cool. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you into snakes, are you, or are you no way, no want no snake around my house, even if it is a fake one? Of course, we don't have snakes in New Zealand, so when people see it, they're just going to laugh. They, probably, they won't think it's real. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments um, what you think and um, what colours I should do next. I'll, I will do another one. Um, maybe three colours. Try out three colours on a, on a snake. Put different colours on the bends. Maybe. This is round two, guys. I've decided to do another one. I'm just going to do it all one colour. And it's this green purple shift. So I've gone ahead done my chameleon powder and now we'll pour the resin now just quickly the other thing that I discovered these little snakes one side is textured and the other side is smooth so you'll get a textured snake and a smooth snake so you need to do them twice if you want two the same. So that's really good. Then it gives you something a little bit different. So it's a really good mould. There's a lot happening here, which is really good. Okay, number two. Okay, let's have a look. Wow, that's, that's a cool colour. That is a really neat sort of a greeny blue and it shifts to purple. Yeah, that's, that's, that's nice. Awesome. What do you think, guys? Number one or number two? Which do you prefer? Number one? Or number two? They both look really good. Awesome. Okay, I'll take some photos outside. And that's it. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. And share too if you can. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one. Bye.